Bad Daddy back here with another video. Um, got some more uh, additions to my collection. A whole bunch of them. So let's cut the shit and let me show you what I got because I got a whole bunch of crap. First thing I got was off of uh, eBay. Um, got myself an NES Max. And then the cool thing with it, came with it, was the instruction booklet. Like, I needed a fucking instruction booklet to use an NES Max, for Christ's sake. And anyway, on, moving on, I uh, picked up a Dreamcast finally. Let me see if I can get that price in there for you. Yeah. $14.89. Complete. Controller. I got it hooked up to my teeth. Got the other hookups and power supply cord already hooked up. So, yeah, I've been playing it, burning some games. Thanks to Dead Man. Get, let me know what's where the what's up on where to get the uh, uh, CDI files for it and help me uh, getting them burnt, man. Appreciate it, dude. Big help. Um. Let's see here, I got a complete copy of Ms. Pac-Man for the Genesis. It's damn near mint, except for the instructor to kind of curl because where they've been storing it. I only paid a uh, buck fifty for that. I love these uh, Taylor's Mall trading post places around here. They really 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 got good cheap prices uh, also I picked up for the NES spy versus spy picked up a mint condition Sega Genesis 3 button controller that was only two bucks but I got another use for this picked up some Atari games are only a buck a piece got asteroids I got the Sears telegames version of space invaders combat and missile command one dollar a piece Let's kick ass and now on to the very 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 good finds uh, found this on Craigslist. See the Game Gear bag. But there's a lot more in it than just the bag. We have... Let's see here. Let's just start. Game Gear... Game Gear advertisement poster. Various instruction booklets for columns, asterisks, slider, zoop, Booker Face Paul Solitaire, no relation, Psychic World, and World Series Baseball. And an owner's manual for a Sega Game Gear. Now that came with all those all those games I just mentioned with the owner's manuals. All have the cases for them and what was listed. Also, it had a Game Boy game in there. I don't know why. Space Invaders. So now I got a Game Boy game I can check out by. Super Game Boy and see if it works. But what was in this Game Boy game bag was uh, something really fucking cool. A blue mint condition Sega Game Gear. There's no scratches on that screen. Works perfectly. And it's got the battery clips, little hand, uh, holding strap. And it came with an AC adapter for me. I only paid 20 bucks for all that Game Gear stuff. No joke. 
it was such a good deal. I had I told my boss I was gonna be late for work just so I could go across the river to Indiana and get it. Now, the other thing I picked up that's really, really interesting was at the uh, place called the Dixie Traders Post here in Louisville. Uh, it's also the reason I got me some Atari games. Yes, I got me an Atari 2600 for $9.50. But the cool thing about it is It's the Heavy Sixer, baby. Heavy Sixer, 2600, right here. And just to prove to y'all I'm not lying about the price. You can see it, $9.50. <laughs> it was just for the console. I'll pay that much just for, the, for a Heavy Sixer console, period. It is in mint condition. There is no paint faded on it. The controller ports are perfect. It's not even fucking dusty. Uh, the contacts inside for the control for the cartridges are in awesome shape. They're still shiny and brass. <laughs> uh, yeah. Got me a twenty. Got me a heavy sixer. And also stopped off at. Uh, Radio Shack and got me that uh, where was it? This is the part that will allow you to hook it up to any modern television with a coax input. It's called a phono to F type adapter. This particular one that's not gold plated, which will work just fine, is available at any Radio Shack for three dollars and thirty nine cents. This will totally eliminate that bulky ass piece of shit switch box all together. $3.39. Or you can find an OEM Atari if you're really hardcore, 20, 30 bucks somewhere. And since it didn't come with an AC adapter, I found one on Amazon, OEM Atari, $6.95, brand new. Sold. So. <coughs> I'm stoked. Can't believe the, uh, the Atari in the game gear. I was like, wow. So, as always, this is Big Bad Daddy saying, see y'all next video.